Hey, Joy Blue here, and I want to talk about joins in the SQL language. So first off, we have an employee table. I'm going to query that. And we have 14 records in this employee table. But in particular, I want you to look at the department number. So we have uh, three different departments here, 10, 20, and 30, but we don't know what department that is. All we have is a number. So there's another table out there, select star from um, department. So if we look at that table, it actually has the department name and the location. And so if I want to find all the employees in the sales department, well, I could come over to the department table and I can look at department number 30, head back over to the employee table and put a where clause on. Where department number equals 30. And so that is going to give me all the people that are in that department 30. And I already forgot what department that was. That is the sales department. So that is very cumbersome. As your tables get big, it's not going to work very well. So that's where joins come in. Joins allow us to put these two tables together. So what we want to do here is we want to say from the employee table, and we want to say inner join, and then we want to say department table. Whenever we do a join, we have to tell the SQL or the relational database how we want to join it. In this case, we want to join on employee table dot department number equals to the department table dot department number. And I'm leaving all kinds of stuff out here, so let me get those in there. And we want to say from employee inner join department on and the on statement is very important and so we're saying on where the employee department number which in this case is that equals to the department department number so let me run that and let's see what we get and you can see that the first part here this comes from the employee table and these last three columns come from the department table now what if we want to bring over this department name to the front so we can see what's really going on well we need to say department dot department name and then we can get the rest of the employee dot star which gives us the employee dot all the columns so if we come back in here and run that now we can see that we've got the research department and we got the department along with the employee now it should also be mentioned that you can alias at this point and if to alias that we would just say as E for the employee table and as D for the department table. Well, these things lit up a little bit now because we've created a different name for them. So we have to come back in here and say this is the E table dot department number and this is the D table dot department number. So E for employee, D for department. And back up here, D for department, E for employee. And now we can run that and we get the same answer. If we want to do a quick filter down to just the sales department, we would say where, and remember this department name is coming from the department table. So we say D for department table dot department name. We want that equal to sales. I'll highlight that run it and now we've got all the people from the cells so that's an introduction to the uh, the join inside the SQL language